so today we are going to start with our fifth unit which is miscellaneous devices okay so it's an open elective consumer electronic course we are remaining with the one unit only which are miscellaneous devices so in this unit there are various types of electronic components or you can say the gadgets they are there what we are going to study in this unit okay so some topics i can tell you these are the digital clocks or watches what we use in our day to day life then there is calculators what we use for the calculations purpose then there is some electronic guessing game the ups inverters the lcd uh, lightning uh, lighting li leds various various topics are there ups inverters generators some small diagrams and the explanations for that that we are going to see in this last unit so only the unit name is the miscellaneous devices the small devices or electronic gadgets what we use in our day to day life so starting with the first topic in this unit we are going to see the digital watch okay so uh, as shown in the screen this is the simple uh, block diagram of digital watch but to start with the block diagram first of all we will understand what is basically a digital watch or a digital clock okay fine so watch we used in our wrist arms okay and clock what we hang on the wall as this everybody knows the basic difference of watch and clock but what is basically a digital watch or clock okay what it consists basically what are the inputs what output it gives as everybody knows when we say a watch or clock it displays the time correct it displays the time in hours in minutes and in seconds that everybody knows but when we say digital every watch gives this output in hours times and minutes and seconds everybody says but when what it means basically when we say digital if it is uh, okay then in am and pm so when we say digital digital means it displays in zero digital watch basically works correct and a special output is there which we called as a seven segment display output what it has in digital watch so when we say a digital watch displays time in digits digits are from 0 to 9 it is a, obviously it is a combination of seven leds which displays from 0 to 9 but inside the chip there is a binary output okay which is a combination of zeros and ones so everybody uses watches okay there are there are different and various types of watches available nowadays in market what we use fitbit is one kind of it displays time minute seconds apart from this it has many other facilities what we can call as an alarm it is used as an alarm can anyone tell me like what are the facilities a watch has 
apart from alarm it displays and say and nowadays there health purpose and obviously it display various facilities available under this digital watch and clock and a digital watch this thing when we say clock obviously it and uh, the humidity things okay so these are the general this is the general introduction about the digital watch digital clock so we'll move now to the block diagram of the digital watch okay the block diagram consists of the crystal oscillator the logic circuit the segment driver the digit driver and the display okay so this is the basic block diagram of digital watch we will start with the crystal oscillator the crystal oscillator oscillator what basically oscillator does it generates the frequency okay so crystal oscillator generates the frequency signal say 32 kilohertz it will generate about the input signal of 32 kilohertz whereas the logic circuit has the decoder it decodes the input then it is passed to the segment driver the digit driver and the display the digit driver and display is the output of the digital clock the digit driver will uh, decode the signal say from 0 to 9 and then basically the final output comes into the display okay so when we say display there are various things into the displays it is a combination of seven segment leds okay so but an led so each led in the display is called as segment one segment each led is called as one segment so there is a combination of leds which gives you a proper digit so are required to display a digit combination of seven leds to display okay if you want to display one low will be off so the output of the digital watch is the combination of leds whereas it will display the signs exactly this is shown here in this diagram okay each led is having an emitting light leds are nothing but the light emitting diodes which emits the light it is set in the combination of common anode okay so with this construction it displays the digit such combinations multiple combinations are there to display the time in hours in minutes and in seconds okay same 
anything i have explained about the block diagram that it displays the time in hour and minute yes the digital watch and clock needs power correct without power no electronic gadget will work so basically it is powered by a special cell which has a life of say 1 year okay so with the power on it continues work then the additional facilities of stopwatch alarm it displays the date and day the fitbit watches gives you the steps how much you have covered the calories how much you have burned such facilities are available nowadays with the latest electronic gadgets say digital watch and clock yes the crystal oscillator generates the high frequency which is converted and decoded with the logic circuit and the digit driver and finally the output is what you get into the combination of seven segment display correct the output displays in digital format that is leds that also i have explained each led is called as a segment here i have told you the a b c d e f g this is a combination of seven leds okay each led is known as one segment correct then such combination of seven leds displays one digit i have told you if you want to display zero c will remain off so it will display digit 00 correct so this is the basic block diagram of digital watch now we'll see uh, we'll go to the construction and working of the detailed block diagram of digital watch here that was the general basic block diagram how many blocks it is consist but it is the detailed block diagram here you can see section is divided into three parts basically the hours the minutes and the seconds the basic output of the digital watch is it displays in hours in minutes and in seconds so these three sections are very important each section has the led display then it start with the obviously pulse what i have told you the crystal oscillator gives the 32 kilohertz input signal so it is given and driven by the section 1 section 2 and section 3 okay so we'll start with the hours it is driven by the 60 then the accumulator from 0 to 11 count accumulator which gives you exactly 12 count because if it is in am and pm format then it will count from 0 to 12 again then 1 2 3 4 starts correct so the decoder and driver and finally it is given into the hours then the pulse in minute is again given to the divide by 60 mod counter here we have used the mod counters to count in minutes minutes obviously 60 minute is equals to 1 hour so obviously the counter will be of 0 to 59 count accumulator again it is given into the decoder <coughs> sorry and then driver and the minute has been displayed on the output again the time set is given okay and the frequency is given to the converter then again 60 seconds is equals to 1 minute correct so 0 to 59 count accumulator is there and the output is given to the decoder and driver and the second has been displayed so first from 0 to 60 seconds after that 60 second is equals to 1 minute and then 60 minute is equals to 1 hour such display you will get into your digital watch or clock so this is the detailed block diagram of digital watch and clock so any doubts on this you can post me you can mail me you can whatsapp me okay
those also you can okay so uh, we'll start with the second topic electronic guessing game this game in your childhood many of you had played nowadays so many apps are also available on the guessing game especially these games we play in uh, we call that and um, rummies and all I, 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 i am not getting the exact word but yeah let's concentrate on this topic the electronic guessing game so this is the detailed block diagram of the electronic guessing game this is driven by the basically the counters here we are using the cmos counter okay so this is our main counter it has clock this clock is nothing but the ic 555 timer ic it is okay whereas the plus 5 volt is required for ic 555 as well as for the counter then there is a 4 bit magnitude comparator and there are three different outputs driven by the leds glowed by red green and yellow correct and these are the outputs of the game now where is the input you will ask inputs are the guess inputs okay from a0 to a3 a0 a1 a2 a3 are the inputs these are the inputs given by the machine machine is nothing but the game machine a computer generates four input and if this input machine generated input and man what is given the input these are nothing but some numbers random numbers only if this matches then one of the led will glow like output and if it is very near then obviously the person will take the prize money and went okay so this is just for the entertainment purpose yeah but it is also included in the, into the electronic gadgets so an electronic gadget games the computer basically generates the output as too high or too low which is given as a is less than b or a is greater than b okay what if is it a is equals to b then if a is equals to b then the s1 this this is the switch present over here the s1 the person will press this and again it the machine will get reset and it generates a random new number okay so the clock is driven kilohertz frequency here the ic 555 which is nothing but a clock generates the 1 kilohertz frequency which is given to the counter okay so counter counts the signal and generates one number binary number from 0000 to 1111 okay 
द पार्ट्स ऑफ द ब्लॉक डायग्राम्स आर बाइनरी काउंटर मैग्नेट्यूड काउंटर एंड द स्विच ओके देर आर थ्री डिफरेंट आउटपुट्स आर देर आई हैव गिव टोल्ड यू ए नॉट टू ए थ्री आर द इनपुट गिवन बाय मैन्युअली द पर्सन एंड दीज आर द इनपुट्स जनरेटेड अ रैंडम नंबर विल गेट जनरेटेड फ्रॉम द कंप्यूटर इफ दिस टू मैच देन द एल ईडीज विल ग्लो नाउ विच एल ई डी विल ग्लो विल सी ओके सो बेसिकली देर आर थ्री आउटपुट्स ऑफ द गेसिंग गेम ए इज इक्वल्स टू बी देन द ग्रीन एल ई डी विल ब्लिंक इफ ए इज लेस देन बी then the yellow led will blink and if a is greater than b then red led will blink and depending upon the three possibilities possibilities one of the led will glow correct when a is equals to b that is when green led will blink the game starts again by reset resetting the s1 button correct because at that time output has considered as a null fine so these a and b are nothing but the two inputs from a number okay then if a is greater than b the red led blinks correct your green yellow led will blink if number is very near to each other correct then obviously the man wins with a cash money okay so this is the little concept of this uh, game the electronic guessing game fine this is just guessing the numbers nothing more than that just just for fun and entertainment purpose so here we have completed our second topic which is an electronic guessing game shall i repeat it once again because this is very short and can be asked for say 5 to 6 marks okay fine so obviously the computer generates the two high or two low output which are nothing but the two inputs what we have considered as a and b here it has generated two low and two high inputs okay fine the ic 555 is a timer ic which generates the clock signal say 1 kilohertz and then based on that the counter will work it generates some random input which is nothing but b and then it is given to the magnitude comparator it compares the two input yes the magnitude comparator is you can say as the heart of the uh, game which compares the two input what is given external generated and it compares and generate three outputs okay it compares and generate the three outputs what you can see on the slide then based on that the respective led will glow and it shows how much near you are to the machine generated output okay fine so this is with the electronic guessing game fine is there time yep we can finish the third topic also fine the third topic is characters
okay so calculators when we say calculators what it basically does it it calculates what it calculates what calculations it does yes it it depends on the type of the calculator what you are using okay so there are various types of calculators we will start with the basic type calculator then there are scientific calculators then then there are some online calculators two more calculators are remaining i am not remembering the names graphing and printing okay so there are various types of calculators available in market the types are basic calculators scientific calculators abacus calculators online calculators graphing and printing calculators so depend on the field they are they use these types of calculator we are aware with this two types basically the basic type calculator and scientific in basic type again there are two parts one is called as pocket calculator and then desktop calculators okay so your basic calculators again it is divided into two parts one is your pocket calculators and the another is desktop calculators okay so here we we'll start with the calculator so what basically calculator does it does the calculations different types of calculations addition subtraction multiplication division huge numbers calculations also it does very fast so basically how it is driven how does it does how do it does it basically does all this calculation based on the chip the ic correct so addition division multiplication subtraction these these types are covered into the basic calculators correct whereas only few operations is considered then we use this basic type of calculations correct calculators then scientific calculators correct you have used this scientific calculator it is required in your engineering correct so scientific calculators does all types of calculations which comes under the arithmetic the trigonometric uh, various functions cos sin alpha theta beta correct so this this they come under the scientific calculators so basically a calculator calculate it it does calculations different types of calculations and it is it is one of the essential gadget what we used in our day to day life correct so this is the basic small diagram for calculator nothing it has keyboard ic chip and display the three just three blocks it it gets over does it no it, there is lot lot of calculations and processing goes under this yes but to understand easily 
what a calculator has every electronic gadget has some input then the processing unit and then the output correct so input is keyboard yes you have to put some numbers you have to give the instruction whether it is a addition multiplication uh, division whether it is a trigonometric algebraic then that instruction you have to give and then you have to ask for the output and the output is being displayed on the display again on display it is a digital display correct this is driven again by the seven segment display correct here for display purpose we use seven segment display for digital watch and digital clock we have used the same thing what again you are going to see this here then the keyboard ic chip and display this is the basic block diagram of the calculator okay an electronic calculator is very cheap and convenient device for making calculations now you can find and get this simple calculators or basic calculators say in 100 to 500 rupees yes but scientific calculators are little expensive because based on the configuration and different operations the cost of this scientific calculators are little higher than the basic calculators okay the keyboard is the input device here correct ic chip is to do the arithmetic calculations i have explained you this and the result of the calculation is displayed on the display again i'm going to tell you this that the display is nothing but the seven segment display okay and it is displayed in the digital format then okay so this is a detailed very detailed block diagram of calculators wherein you can see various various blocks in this so obviously the very first essential thing in electronic gadget is nothing but the power supply correct all electronic gadgets needs power without that it won't work so the basic power supply is given to the control circuit okay you need to press the on and off button on the calculators then it starts doing this operations so very initial power supply then we will start with the input device our input devices are keyboards not multiple one keyboard so our input device is keyboard in this you have to give input say addition 5 plus 3 is equals to 8 okay so if you are doing a simple arithmetic calculation addition so your input one is 5 you need to press 5 then you need to press the instruction what instruction you want to give whether it is addition subtraction multiplication or if you are using the scientific calculators then there are different arithmetic algebraic logarithmic competitive okay things you can do under this scientific calculator but we are considering here the basic so addition plus sign you have to press then next input you will give as 3 and then you will ask for the output you will press equals to okay this is just for the sign purpose internal operations are different in that ic chip okay and then 
soon within microseconds you will get your output as 8 so how does it will work how does it work as with the ic chips the keyboards are nothing but the inputs wherein you are going to give the different instructions then that input will come into the encoders there are different blocks here the encoder will encode the signal the signal are nothing but the input 5 into binary plus then again 3 into binary and whatever output is there that will come into binary and then the decoder will decode that and then it displays into the digit format okay so the encoder is needs to encode the signals the input then adder and subtractor whatever the instructions you are going to give here whether it is plus or minus that it will followed by the adder and subtractor then the instruction registers are there and then address registers from where it is going to get the input and this instruction register IR and AR instruction register and address register is driven by ROM ROM is nothing but read only memory okay so it is taken from the ROM and then all these four blocks is connected to the control circuit this control circuit is nothing but our main IC the entire block which is covered by the dotted line you can see these are nothing but the IC chip okay but control circuit is our the main heart of this calculators which performs the various instructions what we have given then clock and then the output whatever input has come it has encoded the instructions has given that addition subtraction whatever is thing it will done in the control circuit and then it will given to the output section so the display register the accumulator register and the x register okay various registers have been used for different purpose for different operations correct and then the output is given to the decoder to convert it from binary to digit and then a small memory is also present there nowadays scientific calculators has memory i don't think so the basic calculators has it has but very little memory it has okay so if you want to save some answer you can save in that memory and then finally it is given to the display the display is seven segment display wherein you get the output as 5 plus 3 is equals to 8 okay so this is the detailed block diagram of a calculator if you look at it 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 looks little complex but if you understand then it is very 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 simple the input the main functioning registers with the ic then the output if you divide properly into three parts you can understand very well okay so the input keyboard the encoding registers the addition subtraction register then instruction address register address and instruction is driven by the rom the read only memory it only reads okay then the control circuit it is basically given from the power supply without power supply it won't work then the output side the different registers to save the output and these output is given to the decoder or driver circuit with a small memory which converts the binary into the digit form which is nothing but the city and then the output section okay so in this way the calculator works okay any doubts in this okay so this is done with the today's lecture in this we have seen three topics the first is digital watch digital clock then second topic was electronic guessing game and the third is calculators so these types of devices we used in our day-to-day -day life okay so i have told you the small small block diagrams and the explanation for that you have to do and study